Hi Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today, I want to talk about neck knives and I've been carrying one for, well, I've had this one for well over a year, uh, I believe, and I want to talk about the pros and cons of carrying a neck knife and why I personally choose not to carry a neck knife. So firstly, let's start with the pros of the neck knife. Actually, let's start with the neck knife itself. This is a Kershaw brace. It's one of the most interesting neck knives I ever bought. I was uh, really toying with the idea of buying a neck knife, but I couldn't really find the one that I wanted until this guy came out. And I was like, that's an interesting blade shape. That's a nice little profile. That's a small little blade with some good finishing. Let's get this guy. Uh, it comes with a sheath, and this sheath is uh, uh, rotatable. Rotationable. You put it in here, or you can turn it around, and it goes in the other way. Easy peasy, and uh, it, it locks in quite safe. I've ran with this, I've done some uh, hit training, I've done burpees with this on, and it's completely safe. It comes with this uh, little lanyard, uh, neck, not, it's not a necklace, this little lanyard rope here that you well, rope around your neck, and then you use this little thing here to tighten it or loosen it accordingly. Uh, some things I've done with it, uh, I've added a little bead here, and this is because it's actually really small. Ergonomically, it's quite nice in the hands, but it does, because of its position, it does feel like it rocks a lot in hand. So having this little lanyard with this bead in the back just gives it that little extra length in the back so it doesn't feel like it's going to fly out of your hand. Uh, another thing that I've done with it is uh, the paracord here. Sometimes I wrap it around, do like a nice little paracord wrap of the sheath. Sometimes I just take it out entirely. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the pros and cons. First of which, it is it actually saves a lot of space in your pocket. Uh, now, in my pocket, I might have my knife, I might have my flashlight, I might have my pen, and it gets heavy, man. Sometimes the pocket gets a little bit heavy, especially when you have some of your uh, bigger knives in your collection that goes into your pocket. It gets a little, it gets a little tight in there. And sometimes you wanna just make sure that you know your everything that's inside your pants feels a little bit more comfortable. So you wanna put this. On your neck just to reduce one more thing in your pants so that's the first pro which is that it's actually pocket si pocket size saving next up uh it's safe to loan out a lot of people uh sometimes they need a knife around the office or around birthday parties or stuff like that around events okay sometimes uh handing them a little folding knife they get a little bit uh, nervous because number one they don't know how to open it properly or they might struggle to open it Number two is that sometimes when they unlock it, they might feel a little unsafe that the blade is coming down in the direction of their fingers because they're not used to it. And then number three, even though it's a uh, sort of like an access lock or a compression lock, they might not have the skill or the dexterity because they're not used to it of disengaging the lock and just folding it down. Sometimes uh, with certain knives, I get a little bit nervous because they are super uh, swing shut, a uh, finger guillotine, some might call it, when they press it. It might close on them and then they don't know it. That has happened to me before and I'm used to knives. So I can only imagine it might happen to someone who is not used to it. Moving on. Uh, because of that, it's very safe to use. They know, pull out, oh, there's a knife. Cut, 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 cut. Slice, 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 chop, 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 chop. Uh, and then they just push it back in and then there we go. Easy peasy, safe and breezy. Next thing, uh, kind of related to the safe to loan out, it uses less dexterity or it requires less dexterity and skills. Like I already mentioned, not a lot of people will be, uh, will have the ability to just put their knife here, put their fingers here, squeeze back, pull it, and just roll it down like that or, or flick it down like that. And as a result of that, some people are a little bit uncomfortable with like a frame lock or a liner lock or even some compression locks when things just fall down on them. That doesn't make them feel very comfortable. So this makes it feel makes them feel very comfortable. Next up, the size is small and unthreatening. I've loaned this guy out to HR people and they've never said anything about it, which is great. Uh, HR people tend to be concerned about everyone's well-being and putting this guy out there uh, to giving passing out to HR people to use during events, they, they feel safe enough not to report me and safe enough to use it. So that's a okay. That's a great point for this. Last one, more from a self defense point of view. This is a great last grab tool. You know, sometimes you're in a terrible situation, and the first thing you gotta do is you gotta try and find a way to run, escape that situation. Use your flashlight. To me, my flashlight is the best self defense tool because I can use it to disorientate, to blind people, to you know, uh, kind of maybe scare them away or to discourage them from attacking you and then you just run off into the distance. You don't really have the time to pull your knife out of the pocket and flick it open and then reposition your hand in, in, in a safe grip to use that particular knife. Folding knives, in my opinion, are not good self-defense tools at all. Better than nothing, but not 
great self-defense tool, not even good self-defense tools compared to something like a karambit or a fixed blade or a flashlight or a great pair of shoes or good cardio, all that good stuff. But this guy uh, makes a great little last, last grab tool. You know, you have it under your t-shirt or over your t-shirt or whatever. Uh, you, super close quarters combat, you gotta grab, go inside, just grab, pull and, and well, do what you need to do. But I am not a self-defense expert. I did do martial arts for about uh, for about 12 years, I did represent my state in I went to nationals, so I have very very limited understanding of knife self-defense. So those are all the pros and those are all great pros and these are some of the reasons why I keep them around. Let's talk about the cons. The first con is that it is quite uncomfortable to have this around the neck. Now, what do I mean by uncomfortable? Two things. Number one, depending on the, the the neck rope thing that you use. It could be beads or it could be this rope. Right now, this game started with the rope. It does get a little itchy, especially when you live in hot, humid countries. You sweat a lot. Uh, it does get a, a little bit itchy, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm gonna uh, not really use this. Most of the time, I wrap it around, put it in my pocket, which kind of negates the point of it freeing up your pocket because this guy in the pocket feels a lot bigger than this guy in the pocket, if you know what I mean. Uh, I haven't tried wrapping it around so that it forms like a little belt that I can carry on my uh, a little sheath that I can carry around my belt but it's something I might try. Next up, it can get sticky especially when you are a sweaty person. You're, uh, I've worn this out, I've worn this when I went working out so uh, I've done burpees on it, I've, uh, I've, done, uh, I've, I've jogged in it and it does get sticky because my chest gets a little sweaty so it just because of the moisture it just sticks to your chest and it feels kind of uncomfortable you can kind of see these little metal rings here rusted because of my sweat luckily the blade itself hasn't rusted because uh it is sustaining the steel and uh hcr actually does pretty good against sweat uh, of course i go home and clean it as often as i can next up for a lot of tasks it can be too small what has this guy been used for this guy has been used for one thing only which is to uh, cut selfie tape off of goodie bags and uh and uh, 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 uh cut production self tape out of goodie bags uh, out of goodie bag boxes yes that's what i was trying to say so yeah that's really about it it's not really great for anything else because of its size great for edc uh you can potentially sharpen a knife uh, sharpen a pencil on it you have a nice hollow grind so it comes to a very nice thin edge but it's a great box cut off a knife but you know i wouldn't take it camping with me you know, I would take my Spyderco Native 5 for that because I love that knife for camping. Next up is relating to the sweat thing. Uh, if it is in D2 or if it's uh, not a stainless steel or if it is not super stain resistant, there is always a danger of it staining because uh, you're going to sweat a lot. And that's may that might be a me problem. That might be an equatorial person's problem. But yeah, that is going to be a problem. So keep that in mind. I would love like a... Uh, like a Magna Cut version of this, that would be great. A Vanex version of this. Heck, LC200N version of this would be pretty darn good too. HCR just doesn't hold this edge that well. And just one event where I was passing this guy around, this guy was cutting boxes left and right. Like, shut, shut, shut. Open cardboard boxes. Open cardboard boxes. Cut cellophane tape. Take out goodie bags. Don't stab the goodie bags. Um, yeah, this guy is already dull. So I definitely need to uh, treat the edge here a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, that is it, the pros and cons. What is my final conclusion? My final conclusion is that I really like this guy. This guy is really cute. I take this guy off of the uh, the paracord here. Uh, I don't carry it outside, but I leave it at home. I leave it at home near my desk so that it's easy for me to use and I need to open something. Easy for my wife to grab to open something. And uh, for my daughter, under adult supervision, because she's only five, uh, I let her use this to cut up whatever she needs to cut up. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my neck knife. I keep it mostly at home. Sometimes I pick it up when I'm feeling frisky or when I know a lot of people need to borrow a knife and I don't want to lend them my my ZTO 450CF or whatever. This guy goes up and is on with them. Thanks, guys. Links are all in the description. Watch the uh, recurring video. Watch the video of this review and uh, check out the affiliate links. Check out my Patreon. Thanks. And as always, stay ready.